Regal Unlimited is good. Movie Pass is great. But what about The King? What about AMC Stubbs A-List? The biggest theater chain in the US has its own subscription, but is it worth it? Frankly, it's fantastic, but I won't be keeping it. Let me explain. You know the drill by now. You pay a monthly fee, you get concessions discounts, and you get basically free tickets. And A-List nails these basics. Everything is handled through the AMC app, which has remained mostly unchanged since the service launched in 2018. But honestly, it doesn't need to change because I've found navigating the app and making my reservations very simple and easy to understand. You can only see three movies a week, but let's be real, who's seeing more than three movies in the theater per week? Certainly not me. What's cool though is that if your friends and family have A-List as well, you can do what's called AMC Entourage. Basically, you can group your booking together and pick your seats in one order. It may seem like a nicety, but honestly, it's a nicety that I'm glad exists because it makes things easier going to the theater with friends and family, and I really appreciate it. But the best part about A-List is what you get to see compared to the competitors. Regal Unlimited is any 2D screening and then discounts on the premium screens. Movie Pass, you don't get any premium screens at all. But A-List, you can reserve an IMAX or a 4D or a rumble seat all for the same monthly price. No upcharge, surcharge, extra charge, whatever the term is, you pay the monthly fee and you can reserve any seat you want in an AMC theater, no matter what kind of screen it is. This is beautiful. Now the cost of the subscription varies by region, but for me, it's 25 bucks a month. Now technically that's more expensive than Movie Pass and Regal, but when you consider that it includes those IMAX screens, it's actually a tremendous value. I can pretty easily say that AMC Stubbs A-List, that's a mouthful, is the best of these movie theater subscription services. So why aren't I keeping it? <sighs> it's very simple and kind of unfortunate, to be honest. The nearest AMC theaters to me are a solid hour's drive, depending on traffic. And that, sadly, is a deal breaker. So for now, I still gotta stick with MoviePass. Uh, here's the video on MoviePass so you can understand why. And if you want more information on AMC Stubbs A-List, there is a blog post linked in the description below if you want more details. As always, I hope this was helpful. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.